47 Weeks, Life and Learnings of a Dietetic Intern. Welcome back to 47 Weeks, it's week 16. I finished the first of two weeks at the Diabetes Management Clinic in Lower Sackville and on Thursdays in Spryfield. I'm so lucky to be living in the city and I'm reminded of it every day, twice a day, when I'm driving against traffic going both ways. And um, it's quite a change from driving from Wolfville to Halifax every day last year when I was going to the Mount. I love the diabetes clinic. I love my preceptor. I love what I'm doing. It's busy. You have back-to-back -back patients all the time, but it's still laid back at the same time. It's a more slower pace because you can spend half an hour, an hour, an hour and a half sometimes. It's busy with back-to-back -back patients all the time, but it's still laid back and more slower paced, especially when compared to acute care. You have plenty of time to talk to them about their food, their eating habits, their blood sugars and what they can what they can do better. I love that it's still a clinical setting, but there's a lot more educating instead of reading and writing in charts. It's a lot more rewarding to get to know the individual first and helping them. I have my own office and I park for free a couple blocks away, so it's great. My first day I just observed, but starting Tuesday, when it came time to talk about the diabetes food guide, I took over and I got to educate the patients. I also got to do that in a group session on Wednesday. So I talk about the diabetes food guide and compare it to Canada's food guide and talk about the importance of meal timing and meal balance and explaining which food groups raise your blood sugars and talking about portion sizes. Easy stuff. I also got to sit in on a group session around a big conversation diabetes map and the learning was a lot more interactive. You learn from each other, everyone can ask questions whenever they want, and if nobody wants to ask questions, there's also a, a flow that could happen and different conversation starters, myths that you discuss. It's really, it's a really neat way to get everyone involved. It really works. I got to experience a session with an interpreter, I've seen a new mom with her baby. This week was very eventful and I got to experience dealing with individuals of various shapes and sizes and of all different kinds of blood sugars. From the healthy range to a range that reads off the meter. I got to sit in on an insulin start and a foot assessment with the nurse and I helped somebody make a list of healthy snacks that they could have at home to help them have regular meals. It is so amazing being there. People thank you for what you tell them and they seem like they really appreciate your time and the effort you put in. Some people were eliminating complete food groups in their diet, never having fruit, limiting milk, avoiding protein, or avoiding potatoes, thinking they were horrible, and I feel like I actually had an impact on their lives by telling them that they can have this, they don't have to cut it out. And it feels great. This is what I want to do and I definitely reaffirm, and it's definitely reaffirmed that I want to try to be a certified diabetes educator someday if I'm lucky enough to get a job at a diabetes clinic. My learnings for the week include stuff all about what it takes to be a diabetes educator and the uptake after you have your certification. Did you know that you have to write an exam every five years or there are certain competencies that you have to meet each year and it's apparently way more extensive than what Dietitians of Canada requires. So they really know their stuff. I learned how to inject insulin. I learned about all the different kinds of diabetes medications, the maximum dosages, how they work. I learned about the different metaphors you can use to explain how diabetes works in the body. And I've definitely learned better just how to communicate with individuals and just 
increasing my confidence in my ability to do so. I found that a lot of people ask about coconut oil because no one is really sure how it affects the body. So the research that I did in my master's really helps and I'm able to tell them that it isn't as bad as butter, but it's not as good as margarine or the other oils. Mishka, my cat, is becoming quite famous. I showed everyone at the diabetes clinic, well the staff, uh, a video of him peeing in the toilet, which he does. He uses the toilet by himself. Um, and <laughs> they loved it. <laughs> no one believes me until I show them. Tomorrow, my friends and I are throwing our first baby shower, so I'm excited for that. We're gonna play a few games where you take the string and you measure the size, you guess the size of their belly, and the poopy diaper one, and and we're gonna do some baby food tasting. So we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. I can't I can't wait for next week. I honestly feel like if someone told me I can have the week off. I would, I would still go. Thanks again for watching, and remember, sustain your body, sustain your life. Thanks for wa thanks again for watching. See you next week. Remember, sustain your body, sustain your life.